peace what's up everybody it's your boy jay every day and today i'm going to do a quick post about um selective outrage um recently a woman was supposedly she was in t- publicly intoxicated she had um supposedly hit a cop and spit on a cop all of these were the narratives going up until the video was shown and it showed the cop basically punched this woman in the face three or four times um if we've looked back over time you've seen cops manhandle women dog dog just maul a woman um ragdoll women punch women like men um you've seen a cop in california sit on this woman's chest and he was fighting her like his life depended on it um this post isn't necessarily about the cops or their practices now you hit a woman you hit a woman that's that goes without saying especially when there's video i've even seen cops kick women in the face and just so don't nobody get this twisted um this has happened to both women of color and to white women here's the thing about it though I notice in all of these issues you have a lot of feminists um, a lot of prominent women women in you know positions of um, they might be some type of star or be in some type of entertainment field you always see them these feminists have something to say about sexual assault sexual harassment you know the times of the me too movement and all of these things but it's funny i never hear any of these feminists these female newscasters these female-led talk shows i never hear any of them talk about these issues and see you can talk about when Chris Brown hits on a woman and I can't think of nobody else or like a Mel Gibson when he hits on a woman or Charlie Sheen I'm trying to think of somebody else or Bobby Brown you always hear these men talk I mean not these men but these women talk but they never talk about when men in authority positions that meaning men that are police officers put their hands on a woman and I wonder why that is to me it sounds like it's that's why I named it selective outrage because see you have so much to say when it comes to sexual harassment and sexual assault but what happened to physical assault what happened to a man never supposed to be able to put his hand on a woman and don't don't let me just stop at the women let me get on these men too because y'all always have a lot to say about oh this man this and this man this and this man this and you always, you know, you you'll know where some where a man is sticking his penis at, but when the but when the man in authority puts his woman puts his hands on a woman, crickets. This selective outrage by the media and by these so-called people in entertainment and stuff, they're they're some of the biggest phonies and hypocrites I've ever seen. That's just it without just straight, raw and uncut, no chaser. You see here, you, you always have something to say when a man says something outrageous and all of these articles are written or when Kanye, I've heard more people say something about what Kanye said about slavery. I 
or none of these rappers, none of these people that pontificate about, oh, what this person does or what this person does. But nobody has said anything about how this woman was treated. It's really suspect and it tells you the state of the world. Oh, I'm going to ride the wave. Whatever's popular to be outraged about, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. Whatever society deems is wrong, yeah, I'm going to critique and say something about that. But I never hear. So what you think was more offensive? What Roseanne Barr did? Or how that cop put his hands on that woman in that Waffle House? I ain't see you all outraged and up in arms about that Van Lathan from TMZ. Where, where are you at, Snoop Dogg? See, the media and these people that participate in the media, they want you to stay high. They want you to be worried about where a man is putting his penis at, what man is cheating on this woman and all of this other stuff. But see, nobody ever wants to address when somebody does some something foul to a woman, something really foul to a woman. And this isn't to, you know, to mitigate or minimize you know sexual assault or or harassment at all but at the same time let's keep it a hundred if you going to criticize one thing criticize it all the same energy you put say a command the same energy you put on um a tweet from a 65 year old washed comedian like Roseanne, put that same energy in, into having something to say when 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 these cops be beating up women like it's going out of style. But see, you never hear about that. You never see that. And it's gonna continue to happen. You're gonna continue to see the fake outrage and the fake whatever about all of these other issues what's more disgusting what Roseanne did or the Democratic National Committee not supporting any of the 48 women of color that are running for office that Roseanne shit is a mind fuck got you worried about what some woman said was worth a hundred million dollars and she has a history of offensive things but a black woman put her show back on TV and don't get it twisted Roseanne isn't a conservative Roseanne is a liberal it's just in vogue now to follow what Trump says or does That's why it, these people kill me with their selective outrage and their selective memory. Got a bunch of simps out here, punks and beta males and just people with this selective outrage gene in it that, oh, I'm going to get mad about what popular culture says I should be mad about. But when something really pops off, crickets, you hear nothing. And these are the people that try and direct popular opinion to what they decide the outrage or whatever is going to be wrong is. It's disgusting. And that's it, man. This is your boy Jay every day, and I'm out.